I read once on Tumblr that perfectionists are often the people that will procrastinate the most. They're so preoccupied with getting everything right that they don't do anything at all because they're so worried about messing up. I am a huge procrastinator and I think that perfectionism may have something to do with that. Don't get me wrong, I am not the biggest perfectionist in the world. When it comes to the things that I care about, I don't worry about that every single last one is perfect. I mean, if I was like that, I would never have gotten my NaNoWriMo done this year. But with certain things, especially with YouTube, the desire to be perfect kind of creates a sort of a struggle. For me, filming videos is filming on Saturday, putting off editing for the rest of the weekend, and then fighting myself during the week to edit it after I get home from work, in the gym, and then uploading it on Thursday or more recently, Friday. I go through phases. I start out, Crystal, you really need to edit that video. And then I don't. And then I feel guilty for not doing that. And then the guilt that I feel completely repulses me from the idea of going anywhere near video editing. And this cycle of procrastination is why my Anime Boston vlog was not uploaded until about a month after the convention. I haven't talked about this before really because while I ignore so many other aspects of the YouTube Creator Handbook, I am still very much fixated on presenting um, a very well polished image in my videos. I'll put on makeup and do my hair, even if I'm just gonna film a video and not leave the house. I always try and film with natural light because I think that that particular glow kind of disguises any imperfections that I have in my skin. Today's a little different. I got really caught up and busy, so I didn't get to film until after dark. I always film sitting here, not only to kind of create a little bit of consistency in my inconsistently themed videos, but also so I don't have to clean up what's in that corner over there. I sometimes have tons and tons of jump cuts because I'm editing around all my ums and ahs and silences, although I'm trying to allow myself to be more comfortable with letting some of that stuff through because it's just more natural that way. Although I have never really officially announced that Thursday is my special upload day, I, for the past year or more, have been uploading on Thursday specifically. And when I have any slip from that at all, if I miss a week or if the video winds up going up on Friday, then I feel kind of bad, which is dumb, but I feel bad. I feel like I've let something down for not maintaining my schedule. I don't fully script all of my videos, but I do try and go into them with some kind of idea of what I'm gonna say. Recently, I put out a couple of videos where I just kind of sat down and like winged it, and those are really well received, and I'm glad that you guys liked them. I'm always glad to make you guys glad. Um, but I felt so uncomfortable because I just felt like I was not up to my usual level of polish. There wasn't one wing of eyeliner to be found. Um, one of them I hadn't even showered. I'm not sure if you could tell that, but I know that I hadn't showered. I was also uncomfortable because they were so improvised because I didn't plan out what I was gonna say to any extent at all. Sometimes I feel like the less that I plan, the less interesting I am. Because if I plan, then I can arrange what's going to happen and try and gear it to be more entertaining. I always try to present the best possible version of myself on YouTube. This is not something I do on other social media outlets, it's just YouTube. On Twitter and on Tumblr, I will post things about that I had a terrible day, that I feel crappy, that I am going through like a low period. But then on YouTube, I might post a video where I'm cracking like tons of jokes because that emotional aspect is something that I like to partition. That like low, sad side of me that sometimes comes up is something that I don't want YouTube to see 
for whatever reason that I don't fully understand. I think it might tie into the fact that I like to make people happy, and if I'm talking about that I feel like sad this week or lately, then it might make you guys feel down also. It seems like for every rule in the creator handbook that I ignore, I develop some weird video habit all for the sake of trying to make myself appear more polished than I actually am or than I actually feel. I don't know why. Am I subconsciously trying to fit in with the big dogs of YouTube even though I really do not want the responsibility and pressure that comes with YouTube fame? Maybe if I stopped worrying about coming across well, then I can get more videos done. But I worry about coming across well in pretty much every aspect of my life. So that's would that could be a hard thing for me to change. I'm not really sure why I suddenly got the urge to talk about all this stuff. I just feel like I want to get it off my chest. And I, I don't know. Am I, am I the only one that feels this way? I do tend to hold myself to a very high standard for most, if not all, of the things that I do, despite my procrastination problems that hinder me in all of them. I feel like it may come across that YouTube is something that's easy for me and comfortable for me, but it's not, even though it's something that I would generally say that I do enjoy, I do not YouTube easily, I think, because of this procrastination polish conflict in my life. And if you're curious, yes, I did script this video to death. I felt like these thoughts need to be organized a little better, and that script was like 2,000% necessary in order to get my thoughts across perfectly. Because if not, when I'm making a video about my perfectionism, then when? Today you've watched Crystal K. You can subscribe if you want.